What is up, you guys? It is your boy Jad here from Poopo Plot. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19 video. Of course, here on the farms of Madison County. I appreciate you guys clicking on the video. How's it going? And welcome in to another high speed video, guys. This time, as you guys can see, per your request, we are chaffing corn, making it into chaff, whatever you want to call it. And, and, yeah, making it into chaff and then we're going to be turning it into silage. <laughs> I had to think about this for a second, turning it into silage and then we will be um, selling the silage. So that's kind of the game plan right now. As of right now, that's what we're going to do. Um, you guys will see in a second. You know, I placed a bunker in the last video, I believe. Well, we've we've done some modifications over there, and we'll kind of go over that a little bit later in the video. Why I did what I did, and 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 all that good stuff. We'll get to that in a little bit here in the video. But for right now, guys, we are chaffing over in uh, field 21, 22, 23. I did do a little bit on Mount Puma Plow before this. Um, actually, last night I started this process, and then I was like, you know what? It's getting too late. I don't really want to stay up all night long making this video. I was like, hey, I'll just get up and do it tomorrow. Well, I have spent a long time <laughs> working on this today. Um, this is about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes worth of footage to make this video. Um, so there's that. Okay, so as far as the comments, obviously, yes, the more comments I get, the better off my videos rank in the YouTube algorithm baloney stuff. Uh, the other thing that can really help channels out is hit that little like button, guys. I hardly ever ask you guys to do that. If you like the content, you like the video, hit the little like button, you know? And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and hit that notification so you know, well, when it works. Allegedly, you'll know when I post a new video. Uh, and by the way, there was somebody, I'm terrible with names, just so you know, a new person that subscribed and liked the video. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for being new. Thanks for clicking on the videos. And uh, I hope you enjoy your time here in Madison County and you know, maybe come join us on Twitch and all that good stuff, but I appreciate you subbing up and welcome in. Um, keep the ditch, by the way, that was another comment. Keep the ditch, put a road on each side of it. Okay. We can probably do something with that. Um, I don't want to make the ditch aggressive though. I want to be able to drive or <laughs> not so much me, but if, if my course play driver decides to drive in the ditch, I don't want him to get stuck. So I think I will keep the ditch. However, making it a lot less aggressive than it is now because it is very aggressive that is a very aggressive ditch and uh, obviously you guys know from watching the videos that i have um you know tra tractors and stuff go upside down in those in that ditch all the time all the time and yes i know um <laughs> when i tend to cough or something i usually tell you otherwise you guys wouldn't know i mean i just randomly get quiet for a second it's either going to be a cough or a yawn or a sip of water, which I don't. Oh, I do have water in front of me. I thought that cup was empty. Good thing I didn't like punch that cup and have it goes splashing all over everything. That'd be bad, right? But uh, yeah, you guys usually, yeah, you know, because I tell you anyway, there's that. Uh, the other thing is uh, from, I think, two videos ago, but I'm, I'm recording one day ahead right now is all I'm doing. So like I'm recording this one on what is it? Tuesday? Is it bad? I don't know what day it is. Yeah, I'm recording this one on Wednesday for Thursday. That's what it is. Yeah, I'm recording this one Wednesday afternoon for our Thursday. And then I'll record Thursday for probably Friday and stuff like that. I'm trying to pump out as many of these videos as I possibly can. However, I can tell you that this little corn project, I may miss a day. In fact, I might miss Saturday or something uh, because I don't want to make like 18 videos in a row of the same thing. Um, and actually, while I'm doing this voiceover right now, guys, in the background, <laughs> you guys can't see it, of course, but in the background, I'm still running farm sim and keeping an eye on it while I'm watching my editing program and, you know, recording the voiceover here. Um, farm sim is going to be running a lot on my computer to get this chaffing project done. And yes, I know I can have more than one forage harvester. However, and actually at least five tippers and five tractors. I'm really only using three for the forge harvester. I am using a fourth one and we'll get to that later towards the end of the video. Um, the fifth one is just sitting, which is okay. I'm, it's not, not a big deal. 
um sometimes you know the old expression too many cooks in the kitchen that's exactly what it is if i had two forge harvesters going i feel like it would just be kind of a nightmare okay so we rode with the forge harvester for a while now we're gonna ride with the tipper and i'll show you guys where it's going okay where it's gonna go and and everything how it's all gonna work out so you can see the driving past all our all of our equipment oh boy uh same thing with this ditch here i might just bring up the bottom a little bit just bring it up a little bit you know what i'm saying maybe put some rock texture in you know kind of dress it up a little bit i'm not sure yet but anyway we're gonna drive down here to this other site and you guys can probably tell there's a big green bin here this is a mod it is in the google drive by the way i did completely i wiped out the google drive and started over so it's all up to date everything in my mod folder except for the county lines map because the county lines maps is, is almost two gigs and it's like a lot i didn't want to put on my google drive for a second time uh so basically i tried and it does work to run these guys right through the bunker but the problem is you need to run them um not just all in the same like lane through the bunker every time but on course play of course they're going to go down the same the same the same the same maybe if i was in there with a leveler or or whatever it might work but i i decided instead of doing that that i would simply just you know to make them go to a storage let's say okay make them go to storage and then i would i would do it from there i would do it manually put the the chaff into the bunker um so it does work to run them on course play but like i said it's the same unless you went like out and then turn around and went back through and then went out and turned around and went back through a couple times zigzag i don't know if that would work or not but not a big deal to fill a bunker manually especially the way i'm gonna do it and you guys will see it and you might notice as well we added two more bunkers um one bunker is not going to be near enough i'm just saying <laughs> i'm just saying nowhere near enough nowhere nowhere i repeat nowhere near enough um the other thing about these tippers these five that i have leased i may get more i plan on using these for wood chips um, and actually at this point, wood chips might have to wait till next week or maybe later this. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but we are going to start the wood chipping process, uh, soon ish here, as well as actually selling all of the silage will have to be done as well. So here I'm going to grab the fourth one basically, and I'm going to run this one manually to actually fill the bunker is what I'm going to be doing here. So I kind of thought this was cool. You know, we started riding with the forge harvester where we rode with a tipper. And now we're going to actually work on the bunker itself. And I thought that would be really cool. Um, another comment I wanted to address. I talked about doing haylage bales. Um, or by the way, I'm going to use the mother bin here, field bin, whatever you want to call it. So I can not have to hit a button every time I pull up. Basically, it'll hold 2 million liters or whatever that is in tons with the unit convert mod. I don't know. A lot. Um, with the haylage baling. That will be a thing, <laughs> okay? And I have an absolutely insane idea that I've told to a couple people in TeamSpeak, and it seems like they're on board with my crazy idea. Um, so, and it doesn't involve them per se. I was just sharing my idea of how I want to film that. And you guys know I'm trying to do things a little bit different, a little bit out of the box, and not just a 20 minute video or 30 minute video of me droning on. I'm trying to do something a little bit different so think outside of the box maybe a little bit like my um bailing video but more outside of the box than that it's gonna be a process <laughs> it is going to be a process but i think after we get the corn out of mount puma plow i will plant mount puma plow in grass because that's the field we're going to use. The rest of the fields, I don't know, soybeans or something. I'm not sure yet. But Mount Puma Plow is going to get planted in grass. And we're going to mow it. And we're going to rake it. Bale it. I'm not sure how I'm going to bale it yet. If I'm going to use the round baler, like the in-game one that wraps them. Or maybe I'll find a modded bale wrapper or baler that wraps at the same time. Um, but it'll, I don't want to like manually wrap bales. That's just, that doesn't sound like fun to me when, especially it's that many. So, cause that'll be a lot of bales. <laughs> it'll be a whole lot. Even if I use my 25,000 liter modded baler, 
that's still going to be a lot of bales. So I'm not totally 100% sure how we're going to do it, but we're going to do the Mount Puma plow. <laughs> the big field that we've created on this map. I'm going to do that in the haylage bales eventually. I think I want to do a bunch of logging first and then we'll do that kind of. So expect more high speed videos is what I'm trying to say. It seems like you guys like the high speed videos. You know, we get a lot of work done per se in a high speed video. Having a little little tractor standoff here, no big deal. Um, but it seems, you know, we get a lot of work done in high speed videos, obviously, because, you know, I play for an hour and a half to two hours and then, you know, smush it down in the editing program. So, yeah, of course. We get a lot of work done, but uh, it seems like you guys like them. So I will keep making them. I enjoy making them as well. Uh, I do. I do. I do. You know, as long as I have time that week, you know, I had time today to record this. So, hey, why not? I mean, I could have made a 30 regular regular video about this, which would have been fine. No big deal. But I got so much work done. <laughs> I'm just saying I got so much work done. Uh, but once we get the chaffing done, we'll plant grass. And I probably won't plant these other fields right now because we, we're going to be driving on fields like crazy uh, with all the wood chipping we're going to be doing. So I'm not going to plant the other fields probably. And then I've got an idea for some storage down here on the new farm as far as like grain bins go. I might just bring in, say, this mod right here, which holds like 5 million liters or 50 million or it's a bunch. Let me look actually because like I said, I have my game open. So I can actually look and reference this while we're doing this. This thing holds 25 million liters and it holds absolutely everything, including like manure, you name it. This thing holds it um, and it does multi-fruit stuff too. It holds cotton. I don't know how that works though. It says it holds cotton. I don't know about that. This is the silo from Kiwi Farms. That's what it is. It's the silo from Kiwi Farms. Okay. I'm looking at it in game real time now. Sorry. Uh, it's back to the, yeah, so that's the silo that came with Kiwi Farms. It holds absolutely everything, and uh, it's pretty awesome, not gonna lie. It is in the Google Drive, guys. The Google Drive has been updated yesterday as of recording this, or as of this airing on YouTube, so there you go. All right, so we're filling this bunker up, guys. Millions of liters here, or I don't know how many tons. I'm not sure with the unit convert mod. I do enjoy the unit convert mod, but it's taking some time to get used to, of course. Uh, I can tell you it's a lot, a lot of, of chaff growing in here. Uh, but after, after just a very short amount of time, you know, obviously before recording this video, even I realized I'm like one bunker is not enough. So we'll go until we get three full. And then I don't know if we'll continue or if we'll just sell the chaff. I believe we can sell just chaff. I'm actually, I'm in the game again. Like I said, I kind of like having the game open actually in the background here because I can reference things and look things up for you guys while you're watching. Um, it does not look like we can sell just chaff. I don't see that listed anywhere, but that doesn't necessarily mean you can't sell it. But if it's not listed, that might mean that we can't sell it. Because there's silage, grass, hay, straw, manure down here and then you know slurry huh so maybe we cannot maybe we cannot sell that i'm not totally sure on that one but there is that okay so let me get back into the editing program i don't know what you guys are looking at oh yeah we had a little bit of a collision there just saying <laughs> course play drivers course play drivers being course play drivers it still happens it still happens. The only way to really avoid that would be just to have one on the course. But then my efficiency would just be murdered. Because uh, as it stands right now in the in the 21, 22, 23 field with three of these tractors and tippers running, the harvester basically doesn't stop. There's always, when one's about to get full, there's another one sitting there waiting in the field. And they keep, uh, they keep the harvester rolling, just saying. Which is not... A bad thing obviously then the more time the harvester's moving the faster we're gonna get done you know so we are talking a many 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 hour process to get this all done uh but that's okay um as long as i have my course play tuned up just right 
I might AFK this like overnight and let Mountain Puma Plow just be harvested while I'm sleeping. There's a, there's a possibility that might happen. <laughs> I'm not going to lie because it seems to be running fairly well on, on there right now. Like in the background of me recording the voice over here. I know I keep referencing stuff you guys can't see, so I'm going to stop doing that. But uh, anyway, so filling this bunker up, guys. And at the same time, every time I back in with this heavy trailer, I'm compacting at the same time. So I don't really need to do much compacting probably when we get done here. Because the theory is I'm compacting it. I'm trying to get it up to the max fill level. You guys can see I am using... Um, What's your doodle there? Oh, God. What's it called? That thing. The, the speed thing. Cruise control. My goodness. I'm hitting dump, which I set up a macro key on my keyboard. So I don't have to like control I and like stretch my hand out all weird. I can just like hit G5 and it just does it. Love my keyboard. Uh, Logitech G910. Just saying. Check it out. Highly recommend it. It's mechanical, but quiet. It's not annoying and it's full RGB and it's glorious. Um, but yeah, I would start to dump and then I'd hit my cruise control and that way, you know, we're kind of getting an even, an even layer in there basically at a time, as opposed to like piling it up and then you have to go nuts, compacting, compacting, compacting. When you do it this way, you're doing the compaction and you don't even realize it. <laughs> Honestly, as you can see, we're starting to get up to the max height on the end there, which is fine. And yes, we are making a mess on the end here outside of the bunker. Like I said, that's fine. We do have a roller here on the in-game ADAR. Those other ones are all those modded ADARs. This is the in-game one here. Uh, I have to say, I kind of like the modded ones more. They look more American. They don't have the front three point, And I don't know, they're just, they're just, they're just awesome. Uh, if I was going to buy any of these, though, I would definitely put different tires. I would at least put duels on the back. If not duels all the way around. Because, hey, why not? Uh, so we might be purchasing some of these ADARs um, eventually. I mean, we're honestly standing to make so much money, it's ridiculous. Which is fine, because if we do that uh, landscaping on the unfinished part of the map, that is going to take millions and millions and millions and millions. Did I say millions of dollars? Like, that's going to take an obscene amount of money to landscape that out and remember i don't want to make it flat i just want to make it functional so yeah millions of dollars probably going to do cotton down there at least a, a bit i don't know about like every time i think it'd be cool to like plant corn down there and have a like epic corn harvest on that giant chunk of the map you know kind of thing so we'll see what we get into eventually i don't know if i want to buy that next or if i want to buy I think I had talked about buying everything south of the train tracks first before I move up north. So there's that. But I would kind of like to buy that big chunk of land down there. I'm not going to lie. I would kind of like to buy that before I venture off into other farms and fields and animals and all that stuff. I guess I should ask you guys, should I do animals? I know I kind of hinted at it the other day or talked about like I wouldn't do animals until I at least had... The farms that have the animal paddocks already set up. So I don't know if you guys want me to get into animals or not. Uh, it's going to slow down the series and, and prolong the life of it for sure. If, if we do animals, which is fine because like cows and pigs take a lot. Sheep and horses are pretty easy. Just saying, especially horses with the uh, horse helper mod or whatever it's called where you don't have to ride them. <laughs> That's the best thing ever. You just feed them a little bit and then cash that check, boys. <laughs> just saying. Gotta love that, right? Anyway. Anyway, so you get my drift here. I'm um, driving in circles an awful, awful lot here, <laughs> obviously, to fill up. Uh, but by having that big bin there, then I don't have to like, hey, what crop do you want? Oh, you want chaff? Okay. I don't have to do any of that. I just drive up under the pipe and we're good to go. And see there, I was backing up. That was a... The smoothing, leveling, and uh, compaction step is what I was trying to do there. Before I had a full load and, you know, tractor could potentially get stuck, which, you know, it did happen a few times. Not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. That 8R, it, it probably wouldn't matter if I had more tires on it, but it kind of 
which all the tractors do and the loader everything kind of sinks down into it a little bit uh, i did want to come up here while doing that this video is not really supposed to focus on this it's supposed to be a you know a chat video but we still had other stuff running like cotton harvesters so we might as well you know finish those out and be done with them just saying and then go for a roll here trying to level her out a little bit and i think i'm making a decent pile here i know this is uh one of those things in multiplayer we always take pride on our piles of chaff um i'm doing okay here for being in single player and doing it myself and i don't really do this very often either you know in multiplayer usually i'm the one running running truck or running tipper or whatever you want to call it i don't often like quote unquote make the pile if that makes sense i don't whatever i don't really prefer i rather just drive give me give me something to drive and let's go a little bit of an issue there with gliding with the uh forward harvester but not really a big deal and back over to the to the piles um remember these bunkers are a temporary setup i'm only going to do this one time to this scale anyway uh, if we get cows then yes we will need silage eventually but i will not do it here and we'll do it on a much smaller scale as well you know we'll find a small field to chaff instead of you know massive fields <laughs> so there's that there is that but um yeah it's a lot of chaff guys it's a lot and you can see it's starting to get full on that end which is good it's very good it's very good i just kind of creep along with my cruise control at you know two three miles an hour two miles an hour and let it fill in where it can and go get some more <laughs> basically get the merry-go-round going boys because we're going round and round so and actually i was running out of chaff at this point because they well over on that field that field is about done and it was on kind of short rows so then you're turning around more often so therefore you know you're you're producing the less crop at that current time you know so i was getting a little light over here on the crop <laughs> uh but that's okay not a big deal not a big deal and then i decided to go forward i don't really know why it's not a good idea the back end method to me is the best way to fill these you know okay you can drive through it first but you kind of start on the one end and get you a nice base and then just back in once you can't drive over it anymore just back in back in go as far back as you can hit the button and just creep out and over time you know you'll fill in the whole thing and to be honest that's that's the way i prefer to do it is drive over it at first because there again you are compacting it and then once you can no longer easily drive over the pile because you'll get stuck trying to go up there then you uh just do the back end back end back end back end and to me that's just the way it is. works better honestly it works real good this way so there is that and then i do have a wheel loader here obviously with the leveler for kind of finishing off the pile getting up on there filling in the little crevices and whatnot might as well do some wheel loader work right just saying i could have probably done this pile without a wheel loader but i don't know it's one of those things you're like hey i'm doing chaff i need a wheel loader and realistically you probably don't <laughs> so it just makes it really uneven on the ends down here but that's okay and i probably could have put some more in this bunker total uh because you guys will see me build blanket this bunker here in just a second spoiler i know i'm sorry but uh we will get to that so actually we need to switch fields because we're out of corn here and i believe i was almost or all the way out of chaff over there as well i'm gonna go ahead and set a course up for mount pumaplow you guys can see that some of it is already done because i did some of it last night real time for me and uh so there's that so we're just gonna restart it kind of it doesn't really matter where you start the course or anything but uh there's that and then another cotton harvester need to empty out which means i need to call it haul i need to haul words are hard um need to haul the cotton away and get the cotton fields all cleaned up but we will do that in time of course in due time and get those cotton fields turned back into cotton you know <laughs> you know Get them cultivated and fertilized and all that good stuff and 
get the cotton seeded in again so you can see here i'm just trying to pile up this end here as much as i can filling it into the top which is why the leveler is holding it because there's nowhere to go for it so it's kind of a whole thing you can see i back the trailer in because you can stick that trailer up a steep old hill that you can't drive you, you see that's the thing you can you can back that trailer in a lot better than you can drive it up somewhere so there's that there is that definitely definitely so i'm gonna continue to chaff i'm going to fill the other well as much as i need to uh, i'm gonna chaff all of our fields regardless if we have to run an, a like one of these bunkers again i guess i will i could always plot put down another bunker as well um i kind of want i'm gonna get i'm gonna go until i'm done basically with the fields if i have to put more bunkers down i'll put more bunkers down if i don't then i won't but i'm gonna do it all once and be done <laughs> uh so you know, the outside rounds around fields with course play workers is just frustrating i'm just saying once you get the outside rounds done it's not anywhere near as bad it's so much better in fact it's so much better um but what i was getting at is i'm going to continue to do this off camera and hopefully before the next video hopefully the next video is us like hauling silage out and that could be a process as well or either hauling silage out or we start our wood cutting adventure probably the wood cutting adventure to be perfectly honest there might still be some chaffing to do when we start the wood cutting adventure <laughs> just because you know i'm trying to pump out the videos but these, these projects take hours and hours and hours so and i don't know how many you know videos of me cutting corn you guys really want to see you know so I'm trying to keep it to this one but uh you never know if i'm like need in need of a video per se i might just fire up again and do a real-time one for you guys i don't know we'll see but i'm gonna work on this some more today not too much more today actually i'm almost out of time almost dinner time and i have to stream so probably after stream i'll work on it for a couple hours and then um uh, we'll work on it again tomorrow for a couple hours probably so <laughs> there's that but i'm i'm i don't know i don't know what we'll be doing in the next video but it's gonna be one of a couple things basically either chaffing or hauling silage or cutting trees probably cutting trees if i had to guess yeah anyway trying to make this pile nice and neat on the end here and it was just not having it it was just not having it i'm my wheel loader uh skills kind of suck here with the leveler i think a bucket would work better honestly and then like randomly it just pushes it out like behind you and it's like this is frustrating like right there like what why where's that coming from <laughs> so i got frustrated with the pile i'm not gonna lie i was like oh it needs to be compacted so we gotta compact it i start the second pile <laughs> so it's the whole thing guys that's the whole thing and i was like no we need to do that i needed an empty trailer that's what it was there so need to get the pile all compacted up and get this end cleaned up because that's bothering me greatly i'm not gonna lie so love the snowblower mod by the way it's one of the better mods for farm sim it's like oh it's so handy it's so much easier than using a bucket i'm just saying because obviously i can clean all this up with a bucket on say the wheel loader or a tile handler or tractor or whatever but it's so much easier it's so much easier <laughs> And then I realized I need a little bit more compaction. So we'll get the roller up here and do some rolling and get it all compacted up. And then I swear it happens. I swear. There we go. There we go, boys. We have a blanket on our first pile. First of probably three or four or six or it's going to be a lot. Mount Puma Plow is going to produce a ton tons and tons and tons of chaff uh so yeah we might need some more bunker room than the three that we have on the map right now i'm not sure but hey we'll get into it when we get into it and um that's pretty much just that so yeah gotta clean this end up here just a little bit the snowblower doesn't work the best but it is a great mod still nonetheless it works 99 percent of the time <laughs> it's close enough right 
close enough. Anyway, so I'm going to work on this other one. Keep chaffing Mount Puma Plow and all that good stuff. So until the next video, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, toodles.